Hey guys, it's been a while since we recorded the last video, but it was winter, so I didn't do much work on the car. Today we're gonna do a little, few little tweaks with the car. Uh, we're gonna enable the needle sweep, and also I'm gonna enable the feature to open and close windows with the Audi remote. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna enable these features with the uh, Rostec VCDs. So in order to do that, I have to plug in the cable connect to the system. And it's right here to the left of the brake pedal. There you go, I plug that in. The other end goes to the laptop, unless you got a different version, maybe wireless or mobile device or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna plug it into the laptop and uh, we'll go from there. So this is how this normally works. You start the car. You see the little, um, you see the RPMs going to about a thousand, and that's about it. And then here on the monitor, if you go to car menu and then car systems, vehicle settings. Uh, and what I'm looking at is central locking. I might have to start. Whoops. There you go. Uh, central locking. So that's all we got in the menu, right? Okay, so now we're gonna enable another option here. Okay guys, so here we go, we hit the start, make sure we hit start one more time, there you go, you can also start the car, it doesn't matter, then we start VCDs, I just had a trip to the dealer and they did the software update and disable all the features that I previously enabled, so uh, if you're starting this for the first time, you want to go to options, test connection, it's okay, and then you have to save it. So now we're going to enable the needle sweep. Um, so you go to select control module, and instruments. What you want to do is take a backup just in case, never know. And then you go to coding and that's where you take a backup. Copy that. Always want to have a backup. Then you go to long coding helper. Another window comes up and bit two, I believe. So this is the same number that we just took a backup from. Uh, yeah, the bit number two, that's the option you wanna enable. You do that. Uh, you close this window. And then you say, do it. Boom. It's all done. So that's one thing. Another thing we want to do is enable the feature of opening windows with the remote. And that's somewhere else. Uh, let's see. I don't remember what that was. Let's go to coding. No, that wasn't it. I have to go back. There you go. Uh, 46. You go here. And again, that's going to take a minute to scan everything. And you go to coding again. Again, you want to take a backup. Uh, 
Uh, some people keep those backups forever. I don't. Uh, so we did that. You want to go to help calling helper again. And let's see. I don't remember. I think it's bit number three. Yep. So this is the option. Con Comfort operations remote control active. There you go. Close. Do it. And pray. Coding accepted. Well, good. Now we can close that. There are many, many more things that you can do here, and I'll show some of them later in my other videos. But uh, for now, let's just do those two. Go back. Exit. And you turn off the car. Watch what happens now when I start the car. Hey, isn't that cool, huh? So that's one thing that we just changed. Another thing is right here in the menu. Menu, car. Uh, yeah, just turn it off so it doesn't let me do it. I have to go back in there again. There you go. Now you see this new option. Long press to open windows. That's what we just enabled. And front windows on. Rear windows on. And roof is on. And that's uh, it. Let me just get out of the car, show you how it works. And well, good. Okay, so let's just see what we did. You got a remote. You press the open button, hold. Hey, isn't that cool? And now we do the close, hold as well. I think that's pretty nice. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.